Hey everyone, it's Ollie Lindley here with One Number Tableau Experts. And today we're gonna to take a look at why your percent of total adds up to more than 100%. And the example that we're gonna take a look at today is this one. So I just have our category field on the rows shelf. I've got customer names on the column shelf. And I just added a quick table calculation percent of total to that count distinct of customer names. Why? Because I'm just trying to work out, hey, what percentage of our total customers bought in each category? Now, the problem that we're running into is that uh, you can see just from a little visual test, this does not equal 100%. In fact, this equals 274%. So we're running into some kind of issue. And what is it? So I thought maybe the best way to demonstrate the issue that's, that we're running into here is by starting another little sheet. Let me take that off. I just wanna show you, all we've got is the categories field and the customer name field, both on the row shelf. And then I just put some of sales in columns just so that we've got a decent visual to look at. And now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take this product. I mean, I'm gonna take our customer name field. I'm just gonna drop it on filters. And I'm just gonna choose a random customer. I'm gonna choose Aaron Bergman for instance, and we'll hit OK. And I wanna show you that actually Aaron has bought in all three categories, okay? So let's flick back to this customer name's percent of total and see the different percentages that are going on here aren't telling us um, what percent of total customers in our customer base have bought in each category. It's kind of showing a little bit more like uh, what percent of total customers have purchased in each category. They're basically saying one customer could buy in multiple categories. And so it's taking the number of customers for each category and dividing it by the number of total customers, giving us this kind of weird percent of total that doesn't always look like it makes sense. So if you find yourself in this situation, how do you fix it? Well, I'm gonna show you now, but if this is interesting to you at all and you wanna learn some more about Tableau, why not come and join us in one of our classes? We're super excited about some European time classes and some Eastern Standard Time classes that we've just launched. So if you're on the East Coast or you're in Europe, uh, we've got an offering for you, anything from a Tableau beginners class all the way up to some super advanced Tableau calculations. Come check out our classes. Uh, there's some more info in the description down below. So, okay, let's fix this. What we're gonna do is we're basically gonna say to Tableau, hey, instead of just giving me that count distinct of customer names and then working it out for the total, let's rather stipulate how I want this to be calculated. So I'm gonna create a new calculated field and I'm gonna call this uh, just percent of total or something so that I, I know exactly what's going on. And all we're gonna say to Tableau is for each category, show me a count distinct of customer name. Okay, so how is this different? Well, instead of looking at the overall uh, you know, number of customers divided by the total number of customers that we have, what we're gonna do is add a little percent of total onto this LOD. So let me show you what that's gonna look like. We'll hit okay. I'm gonna drag this percent of total onto columns and drop it in just so that we can see the two side by side. Then I'm gonna hit the drop down on some percent of total, add a quick table calculation and make that percent of total. Okay, and that looks a lot better. And as we just select these, we can see, okay, there in our little tooltip, we've got our 100%. So that's just making it super clear to Tableau how we want this calculated. We want this done for each category. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about this, pop it down below. Of course, we know that there might be multiple ways to solve this problem. This is just my suggested solution. Okay, until next time, keep well.